Hello students, in this video lecture I am going to discuss hash diagrams for PO sets. Now the first thing is that what is a hash diagram for a PO set? Now a hash diagram for a PO set or simply a diagram for a PO set is a diagram consisting of circles and lines which represents a PO set, a given PO set diagrammatically. Now uh, the question is how uh, do we draw a hash diagram? Now given a PO set P uh, with respect to the partial order relation less than equal to if you are trying to draw the hash diagram of this uh, partial order uh, partially ordered set p then the hash diagram consists of as i said before it consists of two things it consists of circles and these circles correspond these circles or these vertices uh, correspond to the elements of p there are as many circles in the hash diagram as many elements are there in p so if there are four elements in P, there will be four circles in the hash diagram. If there are five elements in P, there will be five uh, circles or five vertices in the hash diagram. So there are as many vertices or circles in the hash diagram as there are elements in P. This is one thing. The second thing is that how do we draw those lines which we were talking about. Now uh, in between these circles or these vertices, there are lines. But how do you put those lines? Now, uh, if you have two elements x and y belonging to P such that uh, x is strictly related to y, which means x is equal to y, but x is uh, x is uh, which means x is related to y, but x is not equal to y, and uh, if you cannot find any z belonging to P such that x is less than z is less than y, if such a thing happens, which means that between x and y there is no element z you cannot find any element of p between x and y and x and y are distinct from each other and they are related to each other and there is nothing in between them in that a case in that case what you do is in the hash diagram x because x is an element of p so it will be represented by a circle and y is also an element in p so y will also be represented by a circle and now since you have this relation that x is strictly related to y where x is in the left and y is at the right so, so uh, such a relation, in fact, has a name. If you, if you, if x and y is a pair of elements in P satisfying such a property, then you say that x is covered by y, and this is the notation that you use, or you say that y is a cover of x. This is another way of saying the same thing and denoting the uh, same thing. So, you say that x is covered by y, the element y, or y covers x if you have that uh, x and y are distinct elements uh, in the partially ordered set p such that x is related to y and there does not any exist any z belonging to p such that x is less than z is less than y so there is no z in between x and y so if such a thing happens then you say that x is covered by y x is covered by y this means that x is on the uh, left and y is on the right in that case uh, the the vertex representing x will be at the bottom and the vertex representing y will be at the top and because x is covered by y or y covers x so there will be a line in between x and y so this is the rule which is followed in hash diagram now it's not necessary that the line has to be vertical uh, the line can be like this also you can have a line like this corresponding to the relation that x is covered by y or you can have a line like this i can even draw like this x is covered by y but the point is x should be in the bottom and uh, y should be at the top if x is covered by y now with this rule uh, if you are given a set partially ordered uh, set p and uh, with the partial order relation less than equal to so uh, if p is known to you this means all the elements of p are known to you and if p is known in that case uh, all the relations are between the elements are known uh, are known and, and uh, in fact all the covering relations are also known which element is covered by which element that is known so once this is known you can represent the whole uh, partially ordered set diagrammatically using the hash diagram where the elements of p are uh, represented by uh, circles uh, like this and uh, there is a line in between two circles whenever the corresponding elements of p uh, uh, share a covering relation which means whenever x is covered by y then there will be a line between x and y like this where x will be at the bottom and y will be at the top so this is the rule which is followed for drawing hash diagram now let me explain this whole thing by a few examples let me just consider the first example a simple example uh, of a 
PO set, uh, the the let's say the PO set P consists of uh, five elements: one, two, three, four, five. And uh, let's say the relation less than equal to is defined to be the usual uh, less than equal to relation, the usual uh, sense in which we uh, understand uh, less than equal to sign. So this is the usual less than uh, uh, equal to relation. Usual less than equal to relation. You can write. Now uh, with this uh, as our uh, set P and with this as our relation, we know that this is very much a partially ordered set. In fact, this is a chain. Uh, because every element is related to the other you can find out a relation between any pair of elements uh, now uh, in the has diagram as i said before uh, there are as many circles or as many vertices as many elements are there in p now because in the set p there are five elements so in the has diagram there will be five circles or five uh, vertices and uh, again uh, we have to look for covering relations now if you uh, compare one and two then you have that one is strictly less than two also there is nothing in between one and two if you uh, if you compare 2 and 3 then 2 is strictly related to 3 and there is nothing in between uh, 2 and 3 and then the same thing goes for 3 and 4 and 4 and 5 and uh, so all these are covering relations 1 and 2 uh, 2 and 3 2 is uh, covered by 3 3 is covered by 4 4 is covered by 5 but if you talk of 1 and 3 then this is not a covering relation because in between 1 and 3 although 1 and 3 are related but 1 is uh, but 3 doesn't cover 1 or 1 is not covered by uh, uh, 3 because 2 is in between so uh, the has diagram in that case looks like this the 1 will be at the bottom then this will be 2 this will be 3 this will be 4 this will be at the at the top 5 will be at the top and uh, this is your one you can just mark them and uh, then finally there will be a line because one is covered by two two is covered by three three is covered by four and four is covered by five so these are all covering relations which are um, which you can see in the has diagram and from this has diagram if this has diagram is only given to us nothing is given about the PO set only this has diagram is given you can reveal everything about the PO set because uh, this tells me that the given PO set P has uh, five elements this is uh, one thing which which we can gather from here the second thing is that you can uh, 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 you know the covering relations you know that uh, uh, one is uh, covered by two and you know that two is covered by three and you know that three is covered by four and four is covered by five also uh, here uh, you can by transitivity because we are in a PO set so transitivity holds if first element is related to the second second is related to the third then first is related to the third so that way uh, we can see that one is related to the uh, the third or one is related to three or uh, three and then in the same way let's say for example three is related to five so so all the uh, relations can be determined uh, from here itself and of course we are in a PO set so uh, reflexive relations uh, hold which means that every element is related to itself so that was a simple example of a uh, has diagram for a PO set now coming to a little more uh, complex example uh, which is a very important example the example of uh, power set of a, a set x so with respect to the inclusion relation power where x is any set power set of a set x is nothing but this is the set of all subsets of x these are all subsets of x or collection of all subsets of x where uh, capital x can be anything uh, just uh, for the sake of being precise for this particular example let me take uh, x precisely to be some particular set let me take x to be 1 2 3 so in that case the the power and this of course uh, is the inclusion relation so power set uh, of any set x with respect to the inclusion relation inclusion relation means uh, uh, contained in or is subset of uh, uh, a and b belonging to the power set of x uh, are said to be related a is related to b if a is contained in b if a is contained in b so that is how the relation is defined a and b are elements of the power set of x so a and b are uh, subsets uh, of x so a and b are themselves sets so a and b are sets and in sets you can talk of such a relation and uh, it can be easily verified which i have done in my earlier videos uh, that uh, this particular relation comes out to be a partial order relation since it satisfies reflexivity anti-symmetry and transitivity so this is very much a po set uh, whatever capital x we may take but for this particular example we are taking our capital x to be one two three and now um, the power set of x uh, for this particular example uh, comes out to be uh, this is uh, the empty set phi then uh, you have singletons or sets of uh, uh, 
one elements sub these are all subsets of x then uh, subsets having two elements one two then uh, one three and then uh, two three and then the set uh, x itself so because there are uh, three elements in the uh, set x there are three elements so in the power set there will be two to the power three elements which is eight so there are eight elements one two three four five six seven eight you can verify that and now let me try to draw the hash diagram uh, of this particular po set uh, uh, when uh, we know that the partial order relation is uh, is contained in or is subset of so this is how you draw the hash diagram so this is how the hash diagram looks like uh, in this particular case uh, so i'm drawing the hash diagram which is a uh, diagram in uh, three dimensions you have to identify it in three dimensions and uh, this figure is uh, is a cube which we can see and there are one two three four five six seven and eight circles which are eight vertices and uh, because phi is contained in every subset uh, of x so phi will be at the bottom and because uh, capital x is that subset in which every subset is con contained so x will be at the top at the first level you have singletons so this is going to be one uh, this is going to be singleton two and this is going to be singleton three at the second level which is this level this one second level second level this uh, uh, th there is a line connecting one and uh, two here this line i'm darkening the lines so this particular is uh, uh, this particular element is one two just because there is a line from one and there is a line from two then uh, at the second level this one this one is uh, this one is uh, this one is one three so i'm marking it as one three and this one this particular element i'm darkening the elements which are at the second level i'm just darkening them so that you can identify now this particular element on the extreme right which has been darkened now uh, this uh, is uh, this this has lines coming from 2 and 3 so it has uh, two so this represents the uh, set of uh, two elements which is 2 3 so this this diagram is called a cube because it uh, it is uh, a cube and uh, so this has diagram you can see this is the has diagram for power set of the set x with respect to the inclusion relation where uh, x uh, is the set 1 2 3 in this case and this is not the only way to draw the hash diagram of this set uh, for uh, for drawing the hash diagram of a particular set you don't have just one way to draw it you can draw it in any uh, way you feel like uh, uh, just as an example uh, if you have uh, let's say uh, a PO set like this uh, for example if you have a PO set with the three elements and uh, this is let's say one way of drawing it and just to refer to the elements i'm giving names to them i call this as x y this one uh, i call it as uh, z x y z and w now this particular has diagram can also be drawn in an alternate way like this you can draw it like this like this and this and this so this will be x this will be y this will be z and this will be w and you can see both of them represent the same po set because there are four uh, vertices or four circles in them uh, so there are four elements in the po set x y z w and also you can see that x is covered x here is covered by uh, w and x is uh, also covered by uh, z and the same thing goes uh, for this particular uh, example x is covered by uh, z as well as x is covered by w the same thing goes for y uh, the covering relations for y y is covered by z and w here also y is covered by z and w so the covering relations remain the same uh, but uh, the hash diagram both the hash diagram appear to be different but so such a thing can happen that hash diagrams can be drawn in uh, different ways uh, but uh, one thing that has to be remembered is that in the hash diagram there are uh, lines between only those uh, vertices uh, uh, which uh, which uh, uh, represent covering relations so, so uh, only the covering relations are uh, expressed by direct lines so there are there, there are no lines between relations which are not uh, covering relations between indirect relations there are no lines and uh, as i said before uh, that uh, given a hash diagram you can uh, uh, reveal everything about the given po set if you are given a hash diagram like this as i said you can find out the what are the elements what is
is the what are the what is the number of elements in that PO set? Then you can find out what are the uh, covering relations. And then because uh, we are in a PO set, uh, by making use of transitivity, that uh, first uh, element is related to the second, and first is related to the second, and second is related to the third. So first is related to the third. So making use of uh, transitivity, you can uh, determine all the relations that exist in the PO set. So that was all about. Uh, a sh that was a sh brief uh, uh, description of the hash diagram. Uh, hash diagrams for PO sets.